I don't know about you, but personally, I would absolutely love an electric pickup truck. And I especially would love one with a range of 1,100 kilometers. And especially I would love one that is affordable. It turns out there actually might be one coming out within 12 months that meets all these three criteria. It sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, here are the details and here's what we know so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Great to see you here on the channel. As you know, I've made several videos about different electric pickup trucks coming to market, about 10 of them, in fact. However, I made a video uh, a few months ago talking about when I think electric pickup trucks will be coming to Australia, when they'll be first, when they'll be last, who the winners will be, etc. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. I've also made a video recently about a BYD electric pickup truck, which is coming to market pretty soon, apparently. I'll put a link in the description below to that video as well. So check that one out too. However, there is a pickup truck coming to, I think, a number of different markets, not just Australia, other countries as well. Apparently, next year, which is said to potentially have a range of 1,000 100 kilometers. That would actually make it the longest range vehicle in the world, period. Now, is this legit? I don't know, probably not. Is the vehicle legit? Yes. Will it have a range of 1,100 kilometers as reported by about 20 different media outlets? Probably not, let's be honest. But I think it will actually have the longest range from what I'm hearing of any electric pickup truck announced for the next three years, any of them. And it's coming from an unknown company in South Korea. Now, as reported, an all electric version of the Sangyong Muso Ute could be, it is in development for a launch as early as 2023. And claims are that it will have a 1,100 kilometer range, which I think is being optimistic. But that said, Let's give them a bit of grace here and just say 850 kilometers. That would make it the pickup truck with the most range in the world of any electric pickup truck that has been announced. Now, Korean news outlet Daily Car reported that struggling Korean car maker Sangyong's new owner, by the way, Sangyong pickups are sold here in Australia and in a number of other countries. The company was actually recently bought out by electric bus maker Edison Motors and apparently they are working, have been working for a while now on an electric version of the Muso Ute. They've fast tracked this for launch as soon as one year from now. So that would be March of 2023, which is not very far away. Now, the publication in Korea, and to be fair, I mean, this vehicle manufacturer is in Korea, so it's possible that this publication spoke in person with the company to get this information. That's how they know it. The publication said, the battery will have a capacity between 110 kilowatt hours and the top model will have a 220 kilowatt hour battery capacity, which the company expects will enable between 550 in the base battery version and 1,100 kilometers of claimed driving range in the top version with the 220 kilowatt hour battery. Now, just to give you some context here, this vehicle is not an F-150 size pickup truck. It's not a Chevy Silverado 1500 size. It's not a full size pickup. It's a, it's a smaller pickup, probably similar in size based on the current ICE internal combustion engine version, similar in size to the current Ford Ranger or the Volkswagen Amarok. So that's the kind of size you're looking at. So if these figures are true, right, then this would make it the longest range electric vehicle on the face of the planet. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. I think considering the shape of the pickup truck, we have a good idea what it's going to look like. It's pretty unlikely that a brick shaped vehicle is going to get that kind of range. But I think realistically with a battery that size, we're looking at probably 850 kilometers of range, which is pretty damn cool. Now, some media are claiming that they think the range claims might have been extrapolated from Sangyong's first electric car, which is called the Corando E-Motion. That vehicle has a 61.5 kilowatt hour battery and a 307 kilometer range claim, equating to five kilometers per kilowatt hour, which is identical to the claim figures to the pickup truck. And as you know, it doesn't work that way. 
having a battery that size, a vehicle that size, the bigger and heavier the car is, well, the less efficient it becomes. So in the real world, the figures have to be adjusted to account for an electric muscle dual cabs, greater mass and inferior aerodynamics versus obviously the SUV, which is much more slippery. However, this is the good news. Edison Motors is said to be fast tracking this electric Musso for launch, as in diesel guys, the Musso, in standard and long wheelbase forms, accounts for more than half of all Sangyong sales in South Korea and in Australia, where it's, they're its two biggest markets. So in other words, they're very well aware that the pickup truck market is basically well, the majority of their car market. And they're very well, very well aware of the fact that Customers want electric pickup trucks. If they can get this vehicle to market first, you can imagine the kind of publicity this would create for the company, the kind of sales this could generate for the company. Clearly, Edison Motors have experience with electric vehicles. They build electric buses. They've done so for years. Honestly, I'm really excited for this pickup truck. I think it's legit. In fact, I'm 100% convinced it's going to come out. Whether that's 23 or 20 or 2024, I don't know, but I reckon it's going to be probably by middle of 2023 in Korea, maybe even that same year in Australia as well. Obviously, in other Southeast Asian markets, potentially in Europe as well. I see big things for this company based on the fact that they're just going all in on electric. They're just saying, you know what? Screw ice. It doesn't work. It's crap. No one wants it. Here's, you know what? We're going to make a pickup truck. Everyone wants pickup trucks. They want electric pickup trucks and they're going to do a good job of it. I'm convinced of it because I can see their buses. They've done their buses really well. They know what they're doing. Now, here's what the company said. We have a lot of know-how in converting an already released internal combustion engine vehicle to an electric vehicle and development for the Musso EV launch has already progressed to a large extent. In general, it is a stage where we can introduce a battery electric version of a mass-produced car within one year. Now, the rumored Musso is expected to be a different vehicle to the dual cab pickup version of Sangyong's upcoming J100 electric SUV, which is due apparently at some point towards the end of 2022. Now, should this report prove true, this means Sangyong will be the first mainstream car maker in South Korea to make an electric pickup truck. Obviously, the second is apparently going to be Kia, but they don't plan to make one until 2026, four years away. That would mean basically this company would have the market all to themselves for four years in Korea. And who knows, maybe even in Australia as well. However, the company does seem to be a little bit overly optimistic when it comes to some things. They're claiming they're going to release 10 new EVs this year, 20 by 2025 and 30 by 2030. To me, that sounds preposterous, sounds, well, ridiculous, but I love their optimism. And hey, shoot for the moon. If you get halfway, you know, if they're aiming for 10 this year and they release five, that's really good. Now, to give you some context, the battery size in the Rivian R1T, the current really amazing electric pickup truck that Rivian make, which has won heaps of awards and everyone's saying it's the best pickup truck ever made. Apparently, the battery size, the base model battery is 105 kilowatt hour, then the next size up to 135, then the biggest pack is 180 kilowatt hour. Now, that's actually a bit bigger than this Sangyo Musso. So you can see how it potentially it will have a lot of range, this Musso, considering it has a bigger pack and it's a smaller vehicle. Now, for context as well, the Ford F-150 Lightning has a 98 and a 131 kilowatt hour pack. Now that much capacity, it shows you that really it is possible this vehicle with about a 220 kilowatt hour battery pack, that's a massive pack in a vehicle this size. And it's really gonna give this thing a huge range. Now, depending on the variant, the Ford F-150 is said to be able to give us 370 kilometers of range or 480 kilometers and Rivian gives us about 509 kilometers of range. Now, for context, Tesla's Cybertruck tri-motor is said to have about 805 kilometers of range or 500 plus miles in the tri-motor version, but we don't know what size that battery pack is going to be. Now, for me, the most exciting part about all this is the fact that the Sangyong Musso is essentially right now one of the most affordable pickup trucks on the face of the planet. Now, I'm talking about the internal combustion engine version, of course. I'm not talking about the battery version. We don't know what the price will be, but based on the prices of their current cars, they're the cheapest, pretty much the cheapest in the industry. They're basically on par with the cost of Chinese vehicles. What does this mean? Well, this suggests it's very likely this is gonna be an affordable electric pickup truck, 
Maybe it'll be 10% more. That's what I see. I see it being likely this thing's going to be 10 to 20% more than the current pickups they sell, which are extremely affordable, way cheaper than a Ford Ranger. What does this mean? Honestly, I think this thing is going to sell like crazy and I'm excited for it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Have a great day. See you again.